Welcome, guys. Congratulations. It's a big deal for you to have made it so far. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys a few questions. Uh, if we could just start from there, can you tell me your name and where you're from? Um, I'm Anam Sheikh. I'm from Mumbai. I'm 23 years old. Uh, by profession, I'm an engineer and I aspire to be a supermodel. So that's what brings me here. Wow. I mean, you sound very determined. <laughs> tell me something. Uh, what does it take to be a top model? You would have an idea by now. What does it take, according to you? A lot of dedication and, um, <laughs> and focus, a lot of focus. This show really taught me that you need a hell lot of focus to be on the top. Wow, yeah. thank you. How about you? Oh, hi, I'm Danielle Kinute. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Mumbai. And I'm currently just in college. And uh, I think I was really lucky to be on this show and be a part of what um, like all 13 of us got to do. And uh, I think what, what it takes to be a top model is definitely uh, be prepared for what comes your way. Because um, I think all of us know being a model isn't easy. And many a times, people misunderstand what we do. And um, I think being content with yourself and being confident about you know, what you portray and what you are as a person too, because you're going to get like harsh comments and criticisms and I don't know, I think at the end of the day, if you're happy with what you've done and if you're confident and you're like, okay, I can get up tomorrow and give in my 100% if I didn't do it today. So I think just being prepared for whatever comes your way, that's how you get to the wow, top. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, at 18, you already sound like you know it all. <laughs> but tell me something, Daniel. Uh, what did you do to prepare for the show? Is there something you did before you got here when you heard that you were finally going to be part of it? Did you do something special? Uh, so actually, I've been following America's Next Top Model like since the time I've been small. So I knew what I was getting into. But uh, I actually didn't have any modeling experience. So I was really scared about how I would do on the show. But I think gradually, it you kind of... I mean, you're on your own, actually, and we, we were all on our own in this competition, so we kind of learned to kind of fight for what we were here for. That's true. I mean, they do say it's lonely at the top. Yeah. So <laughs> good luck. Yeah, How so I think... Uh, hi, I'm Aditi Shetty. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Mumbai. Um, I think uh, confidence is most important to be a model, and obviously patience, because nothing comes easy, and you have to work really hard. So that's what I've learned through this. Like It was an amazing experience being on this show because it's taught us so much and there's so much grooming, there's so much makeover for us that you know we've actually changed after this few days that we've been here. So it's really <laughs> a good experience being here. So Aditi, tell me, uh, you said it requires change, right? Like you went through makeovers. Did you go through makeovers just physically or did you make over yourself? It's physically, as you can see, and mentally everything because I personally haven't been alone like this with 13 girls competing and being friends at the same time. There is a lot of drama, there is friendship, there's a lot of stuff. So it has made me grow a lot in every aspect. Wow. Sweet. Hi guys, my name is Malvika Sitlani. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Mumbai. Um, for me, I believe to be a model, you need to be really, really strong because um, this industry, you know, there are a lot of ups and downs and it's crazy out there. Um, so to keep that intact and remember where you're from, stick to your roots, I think that's the most important and believe in yourself because there'll be a lot of distractions happening, a lot of comments, but you have to remember that, you know what, you're the best and, you know, um, this industry is beautiful and you just have to give in your 100% and you'll get what you work for. Thank you. Thank but, you. Um, so you said you got to remember where you're from, yes. right? Uh, did this change you in a way that you could not have fathomed? Um, did you expect basically this whole thing to happen? Was modeling your dream forever or did that change? Yes. No, modeling is my dream. Um, and what I'm trying to say is this show puts you in uncomfortable situations and you have to own it. And I think that's the most important thing because I've never been in uncomfortable situations. I've always been in my safe zone. And I think um, 
being on the show has taught me. It has uh, made me grow as a model. So I think that, and sticking to your roots, I mean by there are a lot of distractions happening, a lot of people around you, and you tend to fit in. But I think you don't have to fit in because you're here for a reason, and why you are here is because of who you are. So I think wow. sticking to your roots is important, um, and you're special. So that is so sweet. Thank you. What about you? Hi, my name is Sri Radhe and I'm 20 years old and I come from the city of Allahabad. And for me, the most important thing when uh, I place myself as a model is dusre logo ka jo time hota hai usko respect karna. Kyunki as a model aap dusre designers ke saath aap work karte ho, makeup artists ke saath aap work karte ho. So that time uh, har cheez aapke control mein nahi hoti, aapko kisi ke under kaam karna hota hai. So I think respecting other people's time and you have to be very accommodating. The stylist will want you to be a certain way. The designer will want you to be a certain way. So I think you have to be on point and you have to be very alert to what people expect of you. Wow, well said. Thank but I, I've always had this question. Yeah. Is it tougher to walk the ramp or to pose? I think both are very easy. Oh, because, really? Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy ramp, I enjoy posing. So whatever you enjoy, it's easy. Nothing is tough. Wow, is there anything else that you guys would want to say to all of the other girls sitting back at home wanting to be models, jealous of you guys getting this awesome opportunity? Is there anything you want to say to them? Yeah, it's an awesome platform and for anybody aspiring to be a model, I think they can all watch the show and get to learn something new for sure because uh, it's changed us in such a way that we'd never imagined. We saw ourselves in a different light and here uh, throughout the course uh, we've changed so much. Uh, we've been groomed so much by the experts in the industry and uh, I think any aspiring model would want that, right? <laughs> None of us really thought we would be here and be a part of it. I know that I never really had the guts or like courage to kind of get up on stage or be in front of people and talk. And this show like changed me as a person, not just transforming how I am, how I look, what I like, how I talk, but literally like I felt like I found myself here. So I think it's just that, you know, go out, do whatever, do, do whatever you think you should. Just give it a try. So that's it. Wow, thank you. Uh Can we Thank play you. the next one so that we get everybody on stage? Great.
are you first? This is your first time on TV, right? Hosting something. How does mm -hmm. it feel? It feels fantastic. I, uh, I think this show is especially close to my heart because it's about helping other models groom themselves and, you know, achieve their aspirations. And uh, I think the process has been very emotional for all of us because we've gotten very close to all of the girls and they all come from very different and diverse parts of the country. And, um, and being able to share my experience with them has been very empowering for me. Wow. <laughs> so, I mean, through this entire journey, other than what you've already like, like known modeling to be as, is yes. there one quality that you think stands out for a model to be on top? I think a lot of people think modeling is just about looking good and being beautiful and being tall. And while those are attributes you definitely need to have to be a model, it's a lot more about your creativity and your talent and your hard work. I think that um, to be a model is actually, well, modeling is actually an art. And I think what I expect and what I looked for the most in these girls is how much of that they could bring to the table, how much of their personality, persona, character, experience, style, and all of these various things. You know, to, to be a, when, when you are a top model, you're shooting for really big magazines like Vogue and Harper's Bazaar and Elle and, and Cosmopolitan, and, and you're not even advertising brands. You're, you have to tell, and Dubu will tell you this, these editorials are called stories, and these stories have no words. And um, you have to enact and create and, and, and tell stories with your eyes and your body language and fashion and clothes. So understanding all of these things is very important. So um, I think creativity is number one. And, uh, and relationships as well, building good relationships with people. Well, that is insightful. But is there something that you would want all of the girls sitting at home, aspiring right about now to be a model? Is there something they should know before they enter this industry? I mean, there's probably a few things that they should know. One is that it's definitely hard work. And secondly, I think actually the second thing I would say is, you know, have good relationships with all the people that you work with. Dubu will tell you more about this as well. <laughs> Nobody likes the bitch model. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, and secondly, I think be objective with yourself. I always say you model because you can. So back to those attributes like height and, and you know, just beautiful features, et cetera, et cetera. How about you? Do you think your modeling career helped you in Bollywood? I think everything has helped me um, down the way. I think when you are a model in this country, directors do look at you and wonder, oh, does she want to get into films? That's always a natural question. But I don't think it helped, per se, because once I became an actor, a lot of people didn't think that I could act. And that was a, uh, you know, a preconceived notion or perception that I had to work very hard to break down. And the only way that you can do that is by just working really hard and, and working to prove people wrong. So while it did have its, its advantages because I got seen, it also had disadvantages because people just thought that I was talentless and just looked good all the time. So, I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to both, but I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's go with Mr. Gabba. Mr. Gabba. I thought I'd be the last. <laughs> no. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. I mean, how has your experience on this show been different? Okay, uh, all the models that I have worked with, they all have been modeling. So like I'm associated with Lakme Fashion Week or was it Mintra Fashion Week and all other fashion properties. Uh, very few chances hote hai when you see a fresh model walking such ramps, though they do auditions and everything. But when I came to India's Next Top Model, the best thing that I found was that most of them were raw. Ek aata jisko aap goond sakte ho na, usko aap shape de sakte ho. I am very Hindi and very basic in my being. So I will give you those examples only. So they all were as raw as one could be molded or you know, one would want to be at a stage to be molded into. So we have tried our level best and uh, we are just hoping that when you see them, you also realize that yes, they've been molded into good top models. So is there, are there any prospective top models in this raw atta that you, that you found? You know what, see MTV's India's next top model, ah. and you'll get to know. <laughs> wow, I, I can't wait. How, let's, let's speak to Anusha, our favorite. Okay, I'm wondering what I should ask you. Ooh. Whatever you like, honey. <laughs> so I could just talk. Tell me, how has this show been different from everything else that you've done with MPD before? Well, I have to say that this is um, a show that I've been waiting for for two years, Addy. We've been <laughs> waiting for this show to happen. And it's just been um, a dream come true because 
Um, I've been a part of so many shows for MTV. MTV is my family, and I've been doing fashion for so long, and I've enjoyed every single moment of it. I've met different VJs across the world. I've done different shows of music, fashion, everything. But India's Next Top Model, when I used to watch America's Next Top Model when I was little, I used to think, oh, my God, one day I have to do this show because hosting is just about having that one dream and and this was it and i loved being a part of it and you know if i ever have to finish my career as a host in life this show would be the one i'd want to finish it with Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that is cool. yeah <laughs> but you said it like from vjing to acting to modeling you've done it all mm -hmm. was how difficult was it to mentor this time um you know i've mentored before we had um a show called teen diva but they were like little lovely little teenagers, 15-year-olds. And this show, I mean, is epic because it's worldwide. Tyra Banks has made it iconic. Um, people respect it. Uh, when you become a model from this show, you really are recognized. And so this was a lot of pressure because you want to mentor them in, the, in a really right manner because they really are going to further their career with this show. It's not just a gimmick. It's not just something that we're doing for fun. It's something iconic that is in every, like in many, many countries across the world. So I had a lot of fun mentoring these girls. And like, you know, the promo said, I may look like a friend, but oh. <laughs> I'm a bit strict. <laughs> so, I mean, from all of, uh, I mean, this huge platform that you have, um, all of these models are getting an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. But as, I mean, as someone who's seen it from like the very beginning, yeah. what is it that you look for, for a top model? Um, so, you know, in, in India, I think they always thought that we didn't, uh, you know, look for certain things that they look for abroad in a model, but that's not true. We have very, very beautiful women in this country, and it's very unexplored. And I think Top Model and the way that these guys really found these girls from all over the country, it wasn't just, oh, these girls are in Mumbai, let's take them in a competition and let's just do the show. We went out, we looked, we hunted, and we found these beautiful women. And the world should know how gorgeous our women are. You know, in a lot of shows abroad, we are the gimmick. But we're not going to be the gimmick anymore because we're really gorgeous, we're very beautiful, and we have a lot to offer. And you're going to see that in this show. Woo! Wow. So, Anusha. Oh, you know, they're they are on the ramp, or they're walking, or they're uh, doing an ad film or a photo shoot. So. I think to, to uh, study them in terms of how they face the camera, in terms of how they take instructions, that's very important because uh, we work as directors. We tell them, okay, you know, we explain the shots, we tell them what the mood is. Then it's finally for the, you know, the actor or the model to take it to the next level. So a lot relies on them and the way they've in understood the instructions. So I, I was looking in terms of, you know, who's, uh, they may look ordinary in person, they may be raw in person, but when they, actually photograph that's what makes the difference so and their first photo shoot uh, was with me you know in in the in the episodes and uh, uh, so I, I could actually see them you know groom grooming and in terms of evolving with every photo shoot and transforming from where they started till the end of the show you know so I've seen a huge journey and, and I think that's what I was looking for so finally who comes out looking fab who's you know knows herself who, who can pose who who knows her body language, expressions. I think, uh, I, and being a photographer of celebrities, I look at the expression, you know, even to the, uh, the way they use their fingers, you know. So look in every detail, like how she's performed in every photo shoot. So that was, that's where I was coming from. And look, uh, you know, studying them as complete models, as I would want to photograph them in front of my camera. Wow, thank you. And he was amazing at it. <laughs> Thank you. you said something very interesting, and I've, I've always wanted to know, do you have to be beautiful to make a picture look good? I think, uh, you know... How much is it the person, and how much is it the I think if you feel really great about yourself, you feel good about yourself, uh, anybody who feels they're not photogenic can make themselves photogenic. I feel, uh, you know, uh, if, you, if you're confident, you, like, it's one of those days where you wear the right clothes, right makeup, you look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm feeling yeah. good. You look good. So you need to have that attitude for the whole photo shoot, that I'm feeling good about myself, that confidence, that kind of, you know, uh, uh, feel, feel it 
in, uh, through the whole photo shoot, before the photo shoot, and you know, psych yourself about it. I think anybody can do it. Yeah. Wow, so there is hope for me. <laughs> 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 but tell me, how is it working on a TV show like this? It's my first time on television. Uh, yeah, in, in fact, uh, you know, I've never done any kind of judging or any kind of uh, uh, any and not associated with any kind of. Uh, you know any of these shows before, so it was very interesting, and I've I've waited many years to choose the right show. I had a lot of offers in between, where there was one episode or one appearances, but I used to not get on to do it. I thought you know when I do a show, I should should be something memorable, and I think this is a perfect platform because Absolutely. you know it's it's an international show coming down from so many countries and uh, America's next top model. So I thought this was the perfect platform to get started with on, on a television Love show. Yes. And can so we please give Dabu Ratnani a huge round of applause because behind the lens to in front of the lens, he <laughs> killed it. A huge round of applause for Dabu Ratnani. Oh. Woo! I love Thank that. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was My pleasure. insightful. Thank you. Uh, can I please call Addy on stage? Uh, the been my boss for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get there. <laughs> well, it's just so nice to actually have uh, all, all five of you here. Uh, Aisha is our latest uh, MTV VJ, so I have maybe our oldest VJ and our youngest VJ, and it's really oh, nice yeah. to have both of them together on the stage. Uh, and to the four of you, or three of you, for actually making this whole thing come alive. I remember us putting down a list of who could be a dream uh, set of people who could sit on the panel for this show. And we had all your names on it, and we made all of it come true. And we found Mr. Gaba as well, so we got a bonus. So, <coughs> uh, to me, the show is totally is very interesting because uh, it continues the journey that MTV believes in. Uh, and when I say that, I think that uh, we strongly believe we are the land of opportunity for young people. Uh, with roadies for over 12 years, we're giving young people a chance to find the hero within themselves. Uh, with the music shows that we do, whether it's MTV Unplugged or MTV Indies, we're always trying to find young musicians and give them a platform uh, <clears throat> and Coke Studio. Uh, <clears throat> but I think the thing that was missing in our, in our uh, armory was something to do with fashion. Uh, I think fashion is such a key part of young people's lives today. Fashion design has become uh, a really a core part of young people's identity. And that's why it's no surprise to me that this is the first time we have actually bought a format. Uh, we've never, all the formats that run on MTV are all created at home. Uh, and for the first time, we went and actually picked up a format. Uh, and for that, I have to thank my partner in crime, uh, Akash, and the whole team at Bulldog. It took a while, like Anusha said, two years we've been talking about doing this show. Uh, it finally came together. So thanks, Akash, for believing in us and having the faith. Uh, <clears throat> We all get to do the fun stuff, but the, my team standing there, the team from MTV, uh, all of you guys have put the show together and make it come alive. So thank you so much, and you guys are amazing. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you.
loving this democratic process. <laughs> I'm gonna interview in between. No, she was the first one. And my Maharashtrian sister was pretty good too, I have to say. But the last two came and like kind of slammed it a little bit. Oh. You know, I mean, she just went, she went. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got a, Lisa, would you we like do? to tell them? We have a winner. <laughs> we have two winners. <laughs> and the winners are Disha and as a model then you just turn out to be a supermodel then now you are just playing your inning in Bollywood successfully uh, so my question is when you were a model or supermodel which is the most uh, uh, loving thing and which which was the most best thing which you enjoyed which you in, enjoyed while being a model while being a model or while being a supermodel being a supermodel <laughs> <laughs> being a top, top model, model Lisa top model uh, I think I remember when I was, the year that I was 22, I think it was 2009, 2008, 2009. And uh, that year, I traveled all over the whole world, maybe even twice. I had been to Egypt. I shot for Vogue in Italy. We were in Rome. I was in Paris at Couture Fashion Week. And then I was in Thailand, Istanbul, I can't, like the entire world. And I just thought for a 22-year-old girl, that was a dream. That was really a dream, to work with the people I was working with and to be able to see the world and earn money and be independent. So uh, that's the upside of it. And for me, that was a beautiful thing. I think traveling at a very young age also exposes you to a lot. It opens your mind. You meet such interesting people. And, and um, I couldn't imagine having that experience with any other job. Ask you, what was your perspective to select a supermodel? Okay, our perspective towards selecting the top model <laughs> was that, uh, like I said, they need to have that confidence in them or they should have that belief in them that I can do this. When you select such a platform, then definitely you have the basics that one requires to be a top model. But in so many contestants, do you think you will be the top model? That should come from you. If it doesn't come from you, then... Mm. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Thanks, Pooja. My Anyone question else? is to Mr. Akash. Where is Mr. Akash? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Akash. Okay, famous now. People want to ask you questions. How how do you how do you will decide who will be the uh, main girl? Sorry. How do you you will decide who will be the main girl? People want to see win. So we don't cast uh, divas or we don't, we, it's tough to predict who's gonna be the leader of the show. So globally what happens is we get a good different diverse mix of girls and we are, are also surprised who comes out you know, with the best chances to win the show. So we look for you know, girls from various backgrounds, different personalities, and that's the real juice of the show because uh, it's all about the backdrop of modeling and the dynamics between the girls and how they get along with each other and the drama that they go through uh, throughout the, the show. That's their journey. So we pick girls, you know, based as that. And it's tough to, you know, it, we also get surprised. So I, I hope that answers. Dabu ji, my question is, which parameters are there? And you have said a very important thing, that we look at a different view when you take celebrities. Which parameters are there to take that photo? जब हम फोटो लेते हैं पहली बात तो जब फोटो शूट प्लान होता है अभी डेल मॉडल के क्या कॉन्सेप्ट है क्या किस तरह से उनका क्या पोज करने वाले हैं क्या कॉन्सेप्ट क्या कपड़े होने वाले हैं फिर उसके हिसाब से वी प्लान द होल शूट और उसके ऊपर मैं जज करता हूं कि किस तरह से उन्होंने इंस्ट्रक्शंस लिया किस तरह से परफॉर्म किया 
and finally who looked best in the pictures photos dekhne ke baad he finally actually through the lens humko malum pad jata hai who's kind of you know performing koi jo hum koi aisi ladkiyan hoti hain jise hum instructions dete jate hain and they still do what is in their head you know to jab humne ye show start kiya jab first shoot mein kafi ladkiyon ko main instructions de raha tha सम वो टेकिंग इट ब्यूटिफुली और सम बाकी लोगों को समझ में नहीं आ रहा था क्या करना है तो वी वो ट्राइंग आर बेस्ट और सब टाइम बाउंड चैलेंजेस रहते हैं कि आपको इतने मिनट में ही फोटो शूट करना है कि ऐसे नहीं है कि हम एक एक घंटा एक पर्सन का शूट कर रहे हैं तो वो अबिलिटी के यू नो टू मैक्सिमाइज द टाइम क्योंकि जब भी आप रियल वर्ल्ड में जाते हो फोटो शूट में इट इज़ एक्सपेक्टेड ऑफ यू टू गिव योर बेस्ट एंड यू नो अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द फोटोग्राफर वॉन्ट्स तो उस तरी उस तरीका से मैं देख रहा था कि हु इज़ गिविंग इट हंड्रेड परसेंट हु इज़ नॉट लिसनिंग किस तरह से तो वो माइंड में रखना पड़ता है कि जब भी हम फाइनल जजिंग करते हैं हाय आई एम श्रेया फ्रॉम द एशियन एज सेकंड क्रॉनिकल्स माय क्वेश्चन इज फॉर मिस्टर आकाश एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द पैनल कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी डू यू गाइज नो वॉट गोज ऑन इन साइड द हाउस वेर द गर्ल्स स्टे एंड डू यू डू द जजेस नो वॉट हैपन देर एंड स्कूप्स इन गॉसिप डू यू गेट टू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट So actually the the way it works is uh we get brief from our mentors from Anusha and uh Mr. Gaba and the producers will uh you know apprise our judges about what happened uh during the you know the course of that week and the reason we do that is because we don't want to censor the personal lives you know we don't want that coming into the judging panel so what the result of it is is that we get a very uh real version of you know analysis of their improvement week on week so you know hence they're not judged on what happens in the house uh amongst them amongst their themselves and it's more about their improvement how they've done you know improved as models so uh mr gab and i have uh, gone to the house many times to talk to them see how they're doing there's a lot of emotions that go on you have to realize that when girls are living in a house together for a very long extended amount of time there will be um you know mood swings drama a little bit of here and there whatever but at the end of the day like akash said when they come back onto the ramp when they do their photo shoots and all of that it cannot affect right. what they're doing and if they let it affect it on their own during their performance that's up to them but what we do is we don't bring it into the panel we don't bring it into the judging another reason very important uh hum logon ka to go into the top model house is important because ye sab jaisa humne bola jaisa maine pehle bola tha kachcha atta they all are very raw they have most of them have never been away from their families so they're living there alone for that duration unko ek ek koi aisa friend bhi chahiye mentor ke sath sath jisse wo dil khol ke apni baat kar sake तो अगर उनको कोई ऐसी परेशानी हो रही है जो वो अपने को कंटेस्टेंट्स के साथ नहीं शेयर कर सकते एटलीस्ट हमारे साथ शेयर करके दे गेट एन ऑब्जेक्टिव व्यू ऑफ इट सो दे कैन कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन देयर कंपटीशन, बिकॉज दैट्स व्हाट दे हियर फॉर दे हियर टू विन इंडिया मॉडल It's very important for Dabu and I not to interact with them too much because you do get emotionally attached to these girls and you do understand their stories and you start to get too into their lives. So that is where yeah. we cannot have that relationship with them because sometimes your 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 emotional, you know, desire to see one girl rise or to see someone else come out because you know they've come from a harder place or you know have an emotional connection with them and that becomes very difficult. So I think for Dabu and I it was much more We have we hear what goes on in the house. We understand the challenges they're going through, but we're not there to build a relationship with them until, of course, after the show. <laughs> uh, Lisa, but uh, I also think that you know, like I said, there's a lot of pressure, and it's how they handle it. You know, are you a professional? Because when you leave the house and go into the real world, will you be able to handle what's really out there? And that's the kind of things that we were looking for as well. We were looking for the fact that are you strong enough, you know? And can you wipe your tears, get in front of the camera, and work it? You know. Uh, so, Lisa, which is the thing you enjoy most, uh, like modeling or acting? I think uh, I enjoy both. I think these days, acting gets big modeling jobs. <laughs> 
and, and magazine covers. So I think if you focus on acting, then everything else kind of falls into place. <laughs> uh, hi, my question is for Aditya. Guys, this is the last question. Just uh, For days on end, we spoke. We worked like dogs. I think, I think everybody worked really hard, and I think it is, um, it's real. It's a real show, guys. It's a real show that you'll see on MTV, and it's different, and it's um, exciting, and it's beautiful. And we have the most beautiful people. It's beautiful. <laughs> So we've launched a superstar also, apart from the superstars already being there. Adi has been the most amazing person behind all of us. But I think you all should watch the show and write beautiful things about my show. <laughs> not, not just about the press conference, also about the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, everyone. That brings us to the end of the question answer round. Um, question answer round, it's like a reality show. Uh, okay, so the one-on-one -on -one interviews will happen. Ab solo karlo, yaar. Solo karo! Thank you all for coming so uh -huh. much. I had fun. Thank you.